Beauty Bees into a Project Polish update. Now, in my last Project Polish video, which I think would have gone up like at the very end of August or very early September, I said that I wanted to shift my focus for the months of September and October and just focus on using a bunch of my fall or Halloween polishes because I have quite the stash. There are a lot of polishes that I don't really feel like wearing through much of the rest of the year that I wanted to make sure I got good use out of during the fall. So instead of my usual project, which focuses on getting four uses on most of the polishes in my collection and then um, finishing two polishes, that I would just keep track of what I use and try to get through a bunch of fun fall colors. So it's been five or six weeks. I've painted my nail 12 or 13 times. Um, there was moving in there, so I was wearing nail polish for a lot longer than I usually do. Usually I like to switch my nail polish like every two days or so, just because I love trying new things. I enjoy painting my nails, but I got busy. I was unpacking, there was tape. I was building little like Ikea style furniture. So it was a little less often. There were definitely a couple of weeks in there where I painted my nails closer to once a week. But I did manage to get quite a few manis, so let's talk through them. Now I don't think that I took a picture of this, but my go-to in the morning when I wanted to paint my nails like before work, maybe I realized that things were really chipped, or I told myself the night before that I was going to just take off my nail polish that night and then first thing in the morning I'll paint my nails, you know, I'll get up a little early. Does that ever actually happen? No. But this came to the rescue because this Essie Expressi dries super quickly. This is in a flash sale. It's like a pumpkin orange color. I like this. It's really good for putting on really quickly, but it also chips really quickly. So I don't think I took a picture of this because by the time I was done with work, it had often chipped. So that's a pain. I could have ameliorated that situation by top coating it, but the whole point for me was that I wanted it to be mess up proof in five minutes or less. So I wasn't going to add a top coat, but really cute. We'll probably wear this a couple more times. I have like a little black and white topper that I think this would combine with to be a really adorable little Halloween manicure. And I wore that twice this month. I don't know that I've worn this more than maybe once before, but I got two uses this month and enjoyed it. So I didn't wear the next three in this order, but let's go th through the three polish pickup polishes that I bought in September next. So the first one, is Never Give Up Her Dead. This is from Linby Designs, and it is this beautiful blue-green. It also shifts to purple at some extreme angles. Beautiful, so bold that it almost glows on the nails. Just so, so pretty. I'm sure I have a picture. I could not stop staring at my nails when I was wearing this. I wore this for like five or six days and it still looked amazing. Like I didn't need to take it off because of anything except for maybe a little bit of tip wear. I wanted to take it off kind of because I wanted to try the next polish, which I also adored. This is from KB Shimmer and it's not showing up that well on camera, but in the image, I think you'll be able to see like some of the beauty of this polish. This is Take the Stairs and I purchased this like 70% because it's the Twilight Zone Tower of Terror. Now I hate like any kind of thrill ride at all. I am very much like I don't like to spin. I don't like to drop. I like to be on the ground. Love Disney because they have a lot of rides 
where you just kind of sit in a little cart and you don't move too quickly, you don't do anything too scary, you just go through really cute little scenes and I love that. However, I loved the Tower of Terror intro sequence. So the scene where you go into the Twilight Zone and it looks like the intro from the TV show and you see the um, passengers of the elevator when it disappeared. I love that scene so much that I have ridden the Tower of Terror, I believe three or four times, even though I hated the actual ride portion, the drop portion, every time. So wouldn't do it again. <laughs> My, I don't think my stomach could handle it now, but I really do enjoy the Twilight Zone TV show as well as the intro to that ride, and I couldn't resist picking this up. It's also stunning. I mean, look at those flakies. They're so just captivating. There's so much depth in this polish because you have that black jelly base that you can see the other layers of glitter underneath. It took like two thicker coats or three thinner coats to get to full opacity, but I don't even care. This was gorgeous. Definitely wanted a smoothing topper or actually what I did was just put on two coats of top coat, but totally worth it. Loved it. And I am three for three on adoring the polishes that I got from Polish Pickup because this is from Tonio Colors and I am wearing it today. This is called Ghostly Guard and I think that for me this is going to be more of a winter spring polish than fall, but I love this color year round. I have so many polishes that are this sort of gray, purple, blue color. Just this one's extra pretty though, because it has these little, I don't know if they're mini hollow flakes. It has these little, actually it has two sizes of hollow particles. It has a really, really fine one. And then a, I think a mini flake. Gorgeous. So into it. I'm on day four. I think with this manicure and I was constructing some more like Ikea style furniture last night, but it looks really good. I'm so happy with this and I love all three polishes that I got from Polish Pickup. It was just a total home run for me. So, so we're moving from some pretty high highs to some pretty low lows. It's not the polish's fault here. This was totally me. I tried to do some nail art and I chose as the base this Essie Gel Couture polish in the shade Zip Me Up. It is very much a green and on my skin tone this does look very green. I think if you had a little bit of a deeper skin tone this might Whole, like sort of a white with a green shimmer. On me this looks very green. And I wanted to put in some black accents, sort of do like a stitched up design, maybe like a little bit of a cartoon Frankenstein vibe. And um, here's how it turned out. That is my non-dominant hand. I am right-handed and that is the hand that I painted with my right hand. So just imagine how great my right hand looked. It was stunning. Anyway, um, this polish is just the uh, black from Kiko. This is blackout. Not really deep and dark enough on that first coat to do nail art with, but I tried. It was a fail, but you know, it was fun in the moment. So I used these two polishes and they actually just look cute together. It's kind of giving me like a little Beetlejuice vibe. Anyway, next Manny. So at this point in the month, I did two manicures back to back that I thought felt pretty similar when I was applying them. And, and 
ended up looking totally different on the nails. So the first one, I started out with Linkin Park After Dark from OPI, which is a very deep purple, but effectively black. And then I topped it off with this uh, Nailtopia polish in Jomo. Now this looks like a full on purple. It's definitely more of a topper or a build it up to nearly full coverage in three coats kind of polish. Together, these were really interesting. It gave kind of a witchy vibe. It was a very deep purple that had a lot of silver to it. Very metallic. I liked it. It was just not at all what I thought I was going to get out of this combo. I don't know exactly what I thought this was going to give. Like maybe like a really deep purple shade with a little bit of purple pink sheen when I moved my hand, but I did really like it. So I will have to do that combo again in the future. And then the combo that I thought was going to be very similar was Zip Wine from Sally Hansen, which is a deep wine shade. Not deep enough to ever be confused with black. This is more of a purple wine color. And then I put a coat of Zoya Noir on top. Now this polish by itself, I don't really like. It is very pretty, but it takes three coats. It's a uh, pixie dust, so it is matte and textured and three coats of it. It's just, it just looks too thick and just kind of gross by itself. But as one coat over this, I still got the full coverage Manny that I personally prefer, but it also had these really deep red sort of sludge colored glitters in it. So pretty. This was totally giving like villain vibes, but very sexy villain. I loved this combo. I am so all over this. I will be wearing this I don't know if I should say I'm going to wear it again in the month of October because I do have other polishes that I want to get to, but definitely in November. Yes, this is totally the vibe for fall. I do want to be a sexy witch. It's my goal. Never really reach it, but this gets me so much closer than I would otherwise. So even though I said that witch is the goal is the vibe for fall. Uh, then I went to like the most good girl color there is. This is from Orly and it is pink chocolate. It is a deep pink with a little bit of brown in it. Really pretty. I put some gold stickers on it. You can see the manicure here. It was cute. It's a very good girl mani and Honestly, it's more me than the witch, but it's fun to pretend sometimes. I think this is a really great pink for fall because it is quite a bit deeper than your standard pink. It doesn't feel bright and like sunshine summery the way that a really hot pink does, but it's also not red. Red can sometimes feel a little bit loud. This is right in between the two and it's just lovely. Super easy. This is a one coat wonder on me and my short nails. I love it. Super pretty. So then I went to TJ Maxx and I bought this little number. It's another Zoya polish and it is Logan. So, so pretty. I mean, look at the picture. Look at it in the bottle. I do not have the ideal lighting by any stretch, but you can see that green shine. Oh my goodness. I was referring to this as poison apple green. And yes, this is like a color that nature has only put together to warn you not to touch something. Lovely. So enjoyed wearing this. We'll have it on my nails again very, very soon. And the last manicure that is not currently on my hands was another twofer. I used this 
Context Polish as my base color. This is Piece of Me, and it is sort of a terracotta brown color. It's definitely a brown, but it has quite a bit of that orangey red to it as well. Almost even a little bit of camel, too. Really unassuming color in the bottle, but pretty interesting. It, the tone of this is a little bit different than everything else I own. I topped it off with this People of Color Gold Flaky Topper. The end result was very pretty. It's giving like Gilmore Girls for some reason. I don't know why, but this color, this like very fall neutral, it says Gilmore Girls to me. And I've never watched that show, but this is what I think Gilmore Girls is in a manicure. So this month I used 14 polishes from my basket. I think that I put like 40 in there. So unless I really, really pick up on painting my nails, I don't think I'm going to get through even a majority of the polishes that I pulled, but I've really been enjoying this. It's really been fun to cycle through and just be trying new things all the time. Even if the new thing is something that I've already owned, I'm just mixing it in a new way with a different topper, adding some different stickers, or just thinking about it in a different way. Thinking of it as a fall polish rather than winter or spring or summer. It's been really fun and I've really been enjoying this project. So I hope you have too. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I hope I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.